kind of like a drone shot of <laughs> Mazzy here. Uh, these are needle drops. These are about 10 of, amongst my favorite needle drops from uh, Record Store Day releases I got. And uh, hopefully I can, uh, these will get through, you're able to hear a little sample because we always showcase the records we get on uh, Record Store Day. I had a wonderful day. In the afternoon, I went to West Seattle to Easy Street, met up with some friends. Easy Street has a in-store diner and now they added a bar upstairs. And it was just a real, it was really fun. It was the com camaraderie of meeting up with people and hearing music and it was crowded with families. And so I thought I'd do some needle drops here. This is the drone photography, uh, by the way. And uh, we'll see if these get through, but uh, just amongst 10 of my favorite uh, of the record store pickups I did. So enjoy it and uh, if you like something, uh, go check them out, go check them out more. Okay, one of the most popular of this record store day is the mono, uh craft issue of Art Peppers and the Rhythm Section. Art Pepper meets the Rhythm Section, and we'll just start the opening track. This is the mono version. A great, great uh, Bernie Grumman cut. Mono. So nice to come home to the Cole Porter track. Now, I do have an old analog production. The, this is like the early version. These are going to be coming out again in the fall. This is the stereo version. I really like the stereo vision, version. Some people don't like the wideness and the separation of the instruments. I think that's like being in a in a in, a, in a, an actual performance because you do hear depending on when you're sitting, uh, different aspects of uh, the recording. But this is great, it's got Art Pepper, of course, alto sax, Red Garland piano, Paul Chambers bass, and Philly Joe Jones on drums. And this mono version is excellent, it's, it's, it's got a snap to it. You can pre-order uh, the Analog Productions Prestige Series in stereo that will be out sometimes in the late fall, I believe. Uh, but it's nice to have a little uh, variety of these uh, but it's, it's a great West Coast jazz sound. Love Art Pepper. I would say that though the photography is a little too red. It's not as good as uh, last time. It's more neutral, natural here. I don't know if that's going to change on the stereo version. I think they went a little too red, a little too magenta here. Sandy Denny Live, November 1977, about six months before uh, we lost her. Probably her most famous song uh, covered and made famous by Judy Collins. Beautiful song.
stay with the folky kind of scene. Joni Mitchell, this is from the Blue Sessions, uh, excerpt from the boxes. Of course, California, I can't get it without playing California. This is a great, really beautiful cover, beautifully designed, uh, Joni Mitchell, Record Store Day. Reading the news and it's all bad, they won't give peace a chance. That was just a dream some of us had. Still got a lens to see, but I wouldn't want to stay here. It's too old and cold and settled in its ways here. Summer 1970 demo at AM Studios in Hollywood. I met a redneck on a Grecian island who spent my money very well. He gave me back my smile, but he kept my camera to sell. Oh, the road to Red Red Road. He cooked good omelets and stews, and I might have stayed on with him there, but my heart cried out for you. Beautiful foil stamp inlay, a great package, highly recommended. How many remember this song from Hair? And, and a hit from Three Dog Night, kind of a semi super group country, all golden smog, covers EP, reissued on Record Store Day with Gary Lourdes from the Jayhawks vocal. Copyright by Chris Mars, who was the drummer of The Replacements, and is, plays drums on this. Once upon a time in Minneapolis. Michael McLean, Raymond, Virginia, Jared Decatur. And Chris Mars with Gary Lourdes. I love hair. Thank you very much. So Some might say this is a concept uh, kitsch album from 1968. I don't even know if it was ever released. Say Lieb People Ten Yet. It's 1968 Psychedelic. Ry Cooter. Mike Deasy. Larry Nectal on bass. Um, Jim Gordon, the great drummer Jim Gordon. Jim Horn, of course, Ry Cooter. Instrumental album is a fusion of psychedelic sounds, sitar, mellotrone, angular guitar riffs, and hard drum beats. Now I got it because of the Ry Cooter connection. Early Ry Cooter, around the time uh, after maybe Captain Beefheart, before he really started putting his own records out, but when he was 68, working with, uh, kind of teaching Keith Richard how to play sly guitar. Totally a novelty, a uh, kitsch thing, but I love this kind of shit. So Jackpot Records out of a record store, uh, label slash record store in Portland, Oregon. So Kinks, Kinks, Waterloo EP or something was delayed, but Brother Dave, Dave Davis of the Kinks, and yes, it's pronounced Davis, so stop that nonsense about Davies. 
I haven't always been a fan of uh, his songs, although, I mean, Death of a Clown is so great. Well, these are recordings that were recorded in the late 90s, early 2000s, and then I think in 2003 or four, he had a stroke and he's recovered. Uh, but there's some great stuff on here. He does a, a couple of his own covers. He does a, a version of Picture Book, uh, his brother's song, obviously, and Death of a Clown. And But this is, a, this is unique from my perspective on his music, because this song is called Fortis Green, Fortis Green, and it's from 2002. I think this is from the album Bug uh, he did. And it's very much Dave type of song, very much like Village Green, very poppy, very British. So Record Store Day, Dave Davis. Kate. From this album. Sounds like his brother. So British. Walking by the sea. Melodic. I love this side of the kings. So suburban. It's a Muswell Hill. I need to get bug now. I don't have bugs. comes to Nick Cave and all his side projects. Uh, Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds can't be beat. But you got the side projects, the solo Nick Cave albums. You got the Nick Cave and Warren, Warren Ellis combos and soundtracks. And you got Grinder Man. If you want something really rocking, the two Grinder Man albums they, they did. But this is the full, this is one of the, uh, the tours, I believe, around this time I saw them. This is from uh, 1992 and 93, I believe. And these are, this is a European tour an Australian tour. He is definitely, he is Australian. But this is one of my favorite songs, Deanna, one of my best friends. Uh, her name is Deanna. So uh, there is a, I think, acoustic version on the Outtake Rarities record. But the, but I would say maybe second only or a close tie to the East Street Band, these large bands. Uh, the Bad Seeds, who uh, worked with Nick Cave for so long, can't be beat. So here's Deanna from this live show. Punk sound too, but it can be very melodic, very dark, very sensuous, very spiritual. Need a little 
palate cleanser after that Nick Cave song. We insist, one of those politically charged, socially politically charged racial albums in, in jazz. Max Roach with Abby Lincoln and Ola Tunji percussionist. Fantastic politically out there record, amazing record. Strong, intense. Recorded in drumming and Ola Tunji's percussion playing, you got Abby Lincoln, you got Oscar Brown Jr.'s co-composition. Fantastic music, a little on the out there side, but I think very accessible, very, very be poet-like. One of the best albums of 1960 ever. And this is um, out on Clear Vinyl, Candid Record Store Day. This is amongst my favorite. Now I've had a copy, a Japanese pressing. I think this beats it, ironically. That's Booker, Li Booker Little on uh, trumpet there. James Schneck on bass. Shank. Shank on bass. Coleman Hawkins and Walter Benton on sax. You got the separation. You got separation. There's a whole school of people now that just hate that separation. That's friggin' stereo, baby. And that's how you hear live music, usually. You don't hear it funneled through a central channel mono so just a maybe a, a taste thing great record happy record store day chip baker 1983 radio recordings from france from paris he does some vocals mostly instrumental but there's some scatting here i'm a fan of his vocals Late in his career. He died in the late 80s, I believe. There's nothing like a Grateful Dead concert. Wembley, Empire Pool, London, England, April 1972, the Europe of 72. Um, this is the 50th anniversary this year, Europe 72. 
And I want to uh, close out with the Grateful Dead's uh, kind of country rendition. Of course, it's a country song, Me and My Uncle. What a, a great, great, great song from Wembley. Fantastic version. I love this version. 72, I was all in. I saw him so many times in a year in Winterland. Manzi loves you. Hope you had a fun time, Record Store Day. And if you don't go out, and if you don't care for it, at least hope you uh, have enjoyed it through uh, some of us presenting some of this music. I wanted to let you hear some of this music on this one, not just show our friggin' record. So, Manzi loves you. I'm gonna let this play out. Love this version. See you next time.